Thank you and good afternoon. This is Sam Vaughn for Sam Sports Report. Today's date is Monday, September 11th. Opening day was yesterday. And we will go through the final scores of games. The big upset of the day was the offense of the AFC Championship last year. AFC Champions and AFC runner-ups last year to the Kansas City Chiefs. 24-3 was the final. Joe Burr has his worst game of his career. 82 yards, no touchdowns. No receiver had over 100 yards for the Bengals. 56 yards was the highest, and that was in rushing yards. Watson had 154. For quarterbacks, Chubb was good in the game. 106, but no touchdowns. And no line play for the Bengals as they had Five sacks, and it wasn't a good day for Orlando Brown and his crew, former chief. Nine. Texans over Ravens. Lamar Jackson was not very good as he had one nine, 69 through no touchdowns and one pick. Lamar Jackson had 38 on the ground, but the key story was the reason that J.K. Dobbins didn't lead him in rushing was a tear his Achilles. He is out for the season. Also another mark note, Marcus Williams safety for the uh, Baltimore Ravens was also hurt. Expected to miss some time due to, due to a shoulder injury. The Bucks recording a small upset. Two touchdowns by Baker Mayfield. Kirk Cousin was very good as he goes for 3-44 and two touchdowns and one INT. Touchdown, Jeff, Jeff, Justin Jefferson had a good day at 150 and nine catches. The Vikings turned over the ball three times, and that was it. Ended up being the reason they lost. The field goal within the last five minutes of the game, but the Vikings couldn't get the ball back, losing 20-17. Saints edge out the Titans with both horrible offense games. Saints turned over the ball twice. Good game from Derek Carr. 305, one pick. Titans turned over the ball three times, which ended up being the killer for the Titans. Falcons over Panthers. Quarterback play was not very good. Bryce Young has under 200. Desmond Reader has under 200. Panther, Desmond Reader wasn't very good either. Bryce Young wasn't very good either to start their season as the first time being the starting quarterback for the teams. Panthers turn over the ball three times. Young threw two, two picks, 24-10. Falcons over Panthers. Jaguars over Colts. Colts able to keep it close for a while. Anthony Richardson was good, but you could see room where he needed to throw better. He had 223, one touchdown, and Calvin really goes over 100 for the Jags. He had over 100 for after being suspended for the last the whole season, but looks good in a new uniform. For the 49ers and Steelers, Kenny Pickett, Kenny Pickett, those two picks for the for Steelers. Brock Purdy looks okay, but Christian McCaffrey was really good. 152 yards. Brandon Ayuk was great for the 49ers. Two touchdowns and 129 yards. Commander, commanders edge out the Cardinals, which I don't expect either team to be good. Offensive coordinator here. Eric Bieniemy, former Chiefs offensive coordinator, hopes to improve this offense before the end of the season. 2016 Commanders over Cardinals. The one big strength the Commanders do have is their defense, and they can't put a stop to help them win the game on fourth down. Midday games, best game of the week, 456 for best game of the day. Plenty of fireworks. 460, 456 yards for two Tungabaloa, three touchdowns and one INT. Justin Herbert wasn't.
bad, but he didn't look his best. 266, two touchdowns. All the defense, Dolphins recorded a stop on five plays, first down, and then quickly three and out. They lost some yardage on a fourth and 12 on a 33. They could not convert. Dolphins win 36-34. Bears show they're not much better on opening day. Chicago Justin Fields goes for 215, one INT. Nobody goes over 100 for the Bears. Jordan Love shows why. He was a secret kept with Green Bay as he has three touchdowns in his first ever to start the season for the Packers. He did start one other game, which was against the Kansas City Chiefs, but he showed why he was there, and there was no more Rodgers for the Packers. We're going to see him for the night for the Jets. 38-20 was your final. And in the NFC, and in the, as he has two touchdowns, Raiders go ahead by a touchdown to give him a one-point lead. The Broncos had to punt with 4 5 0 8 and never saw the ball again. 17-16 was your final. Eagles and NFC champions kept the game closer than it should have been. After starting 16 to nothing, Eagles, the Niners, the Eagles only scored nine more points, and they win 25-20. Matt Jones may have had his best career game with 354 yards and three touchdowns, but the ground game wasn't good as Zeke in his first game only had 29 yards. Nobody over receiving and rushing at over 100. 25-20 was your final. Rams, of course, slide upset over the Seahawks, 30-20. Stafford shows you can still play quarterback as he is 3-34, but no touchdowns. Geno Smith has a below average day as he has about 200 yards to a 12 well at 119 and no touchdowns. Puka for the Rams, no Puka Noak had 119 yards. Kira Williams was good. He had only 52 yards, but had two scores. The Seahawks led 13 to seven. Then the Seahawks would never score again. Rams outscored them like a basketball run, 23 to nothing, and the game was over. The Giants dump on the field. Daniel Jones was not good. 104 yards and INT. Prescott wasn't good either, but he had 143 yards, but nobody else had over 100. The Giants turned the ball over three times, a blocked field goal for a touchdown, an extra point miss was the only downside for the Cowboys. Tony Pollard showed why he is a new starting running back for the Cowboys. He has two touchdowns, and the Cowboys kill it. 40-0. Monday Night Football. Notes on the injuries. Ravens, Browns. J.K. Dobbins suffered a torn Achilles heel. He is out for the season. Marcus Williams was ruled out with a shoulder injury. It is feared to be a prochotic muscle, which could be bad news. He'll have an MRI today. Ronnie Stanley did not return. Uh, Jack Cochran, who got carted off the field against the Bengals, feared a significant knee injury. Denver Broncos, Caden Sutton, did not return against the Raiders after being carted off the field. Knee injury and, t- not, and tight end Greg Dugley, a leg, also did not return for Denver. Las Vegas Raiders, Jacoby Myers is being evaluated for a cushion cushion. He did not return after sustaining a hard hit in the second half. Again, for the Broncos, safety Trayvon Mungberg, or Broncos safety Trayvon Munga did not return for the Broncos. Carolina Panthers, Falcons, VS, Cornerback Jason Horn, Joyce Horn gets hurt. Green Bay running back Aaron Jones did not return after he hurt his hamstring. Linebacker Quasey Walker 
was evaluated for a concussion. Colts versus Jaguars. Anthony Richardson missed a lot, couple snaps. Sunday's matchup against the Jags after being tackled. He is a fine according to the head coach of the Colts, Shane Station. Jacksonville Jaguars cornerback Greg Jr. hamstring was ruled out for the game for the Jets and guard Brandon Scherfer ankle injury did not return. Blockett was being evaluated for concussion. Tampa Bay Buccaneers lineman K.A. Cansey was ruled out of the game against the Vikings. We'll do the breakdown of the schedules for the Bills and Jets tomorrow. When Aaron Rodgers was in Green Bay, Alan Lazard played for the Green Bay Packers when he was in Green Bay. Garrett Wilson played for the Jets last season and had one hell of a rookie year. They also have McCall Holman Jr. As we said, also the best receiving crew in the offseason. Have a lot of supporting cast and the best supporting cast in an offseason. One of the best receivers in the game for the Bills, 1,429 yards. And Gabe Davis had 836, which was over 2,200 yards. Josh Allen won the first game, 27-17. As now he sits in a Jets uniform for the first time ever. Aaron Rodgers, the best team, offseason team ever, as we said, and the best defense. One of the best defenses last year. Quentin Williams. Also, Sauce Gardner, it's all fixed for the Jets, right? Wrong. Give me the Bills to win it. Let me put my mascot on. 
Five time. The Bills have made it every time. Josh and Al's been a starter five times. Give me the Jet. Give me the Bills over the Jets, 31-27. This is Sam Vaughn for Sam Sports Report. I had, I have already picked the standings and the bet Jill Bills, Jets, and Dolphins all finish over five hundred and you'll see where there I have them.